Women's soccer. Okay, lesbians, now that I have your attention, why Subaru? Anyway, I want to explain why the U.S. women's national team sued U.S. soccer for sexist wage discrimination. Now, there are two reasons. One, they are the most dominant force in women's soccer history. Two, they are fucking idiots. Now, I'm not here to bash women. Hope Solo has done that enough. I just want to clarify what's going on. So here it is. The U.S. men's team, if you can even call them men, has an incentive-based contract. They only get paid when they play. And by play, I mean get their shit pushed in by the third world. The U.S. women's team was offered a similar incentive-based contract. They turned it down. The women demanded guaranteed money instead. Then they went out and pillaged more foreign women than the Vikings and won another World Cup. So they did the math and realized they would have made more money if they had taken the original incentive-based contract. So they sued to change their contract and receive back pay for all the games they've already played. Obviously, the judge thought this was ridiculous and threw the case out immediately. Now, lasses of the grasses, chicks between the sticks, bitches of the pitches, you can't sue someone for giving you the contract you asked for. You also can't call someone sexist for giving you the contract you asked for. Furthermore, if you ask for a sexist contract, U.S. soccer isn't oppressing you. You're oppressing you. Now, I understand it's shocking that women would break an agreement just because they're in the position to benefit financially, but that's exactly what happened here. And you dare say men have commitment issues. Now, in all fairness, for the first time in the history of sports outside of stripping, women are more profitable than the men. Pole dancing is a sport, by the way, and I'm a huge supporter of women's athletics. Let's go Magic City. Times are changing, people. Step out of the past, you bigots. Women are more successful than men at soccer. Men are more successful than women at being women. Welcome to 2020, man. I mean, Zim or Zer or whatever goofy shit you white kids made up because you feel guilty about not having any struggle in your life. Based on the money the women bring in, they should be making far more than the men, and I know how to make it happen, easily. You pay the men what they're worth. Nothing. Zip, zilch, zero, Zer. This is sports socialism. They do nothing and get paid anyway, it's un-American. Now some of you might say that that's unfair, and to that I say, fuck you, you commie prick. The men's soccer team is garbage and they should be treated as such. Put them in a bag, light it on fire. Is that what we do at Trash? The men didn't even make it in the World Cup. We couldn't beat Panama. That's not even a country, that's a shortcut. We couldn't beat Honduras, we couldn't beat Costa Rica, we couldn't beat Mexico. I mean, we have 40 million Central American immigrants in this country. Are they just sending the ones that can't play soccer? Hombres, the Statue of Liberty is not holding up a red card. I mean, all those people, not one chicharito. When Trump said they're not sending their best, you gotta admit he was right. And you know what? We should build a wall. So we only let in the ones with the athletics to jump over it. That's how you win some headers. Now don't get me wrong, mi gente. I appreciate the jobs you do. Thank you for delivering my Postmates, but I need you to deliver a World Cup. Hector, off this field, onto this one. Please, steal these jobs. The men's soccer team stinks. They are the exception to American exceptionalism. We can put a man on the moon, but we can't put a ball on a goal. You know America's greatest soccer achievement was beating Colombia in the 1994 World Cup? How'd we beat them? Colombia scored on themselves. Yeah, we can't even score our own goals. In 2010, we lost to Ghana. Ghana! A country we give millions of dollars in foreign aid every year. We're losing to teams we're feeding. Seriously, Ghana, if you beat us again, I'll tell you what's gonna be Ghana. The rice, yeah. You can kiss that delicious Jolof goodbye. To me, it's clear. The women's team makes stars. We know who they are. Mia Hamm, Alex Morgan, Ninja. The men's team is fucking unrecognizable. Who's this guy? I see that guy on the street, I assume he's doing magic. This dude, that's the most boring rapper of all time. This guy right here, that's a make-a-wish adult. Let me guess, he's the star of a soccer movie called Bend It Like Leukemia. Now, I'm not saying the women's team is more skilled than the men's team, of course not. And yes, they win mostly because half the world's women are stuck under curtains. They're also trying to hijack the women's rights movement to gain public sympathy to get them out of a dumb contract that they asked for. But, at the end of the day, they're undeniably the best in the world. And this is America. We love being the best, baby. Matter of fact, the only thing we love more than oppressing women is winning. So broads, take the money, because I know one thing for certain. The future of American soccer 
is female. Thanks, guys. Peace.